Well, in today's Health Watch, a new treatment for multiple sclerosis, MS, affects more than 400,000 Americans. It can strike anyone at any time, but it usually hits adults in the prime of their lives. And as Dr. John LaPook reports, researchers say there's now a new drug that's proving very promising. As an electrician, 49-year-old Stephen O'Malley depends on good vision. But seven years ago, things suddenly began to go dark. I was scared to death. I went to work at six o'clock in the evening, and I was completely blind in one eye six hours later. The Cleveland father of two was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, or MS. MS is a neurological disease that affects the brain and spinal cord. Symptoms can range from numbness and tingling to blindness and paralysis. They often get worse over time, leaving many patients greatly disabled. While there is no cure for MS, there are effective treatments. Kate Lodge gets monthly infusions requiring a two-hour visit to the hospital. But there are potential side effects, including fatal brain infections. The symptoms of the brain infection can mirror the symptoms of MS, so you can't know, and so you go into a panic mode. So what we've needed in MS treatment is the ideal combination of a very effective therapy, well-tolerated, and safe. Now that therapy may finally be here in an easy-to-take pill. Neurologist Dr. Robert Fox is medical director at the Cleveland Clinic's Mellon Center for Multiple Sclerosis. Fox led clinical trials of a new drug called BG12, which seems to help prevent flare-ups of MS. The research involved more than 2,000 patients from all over the world who were followed for two years. Patients on BG12 had about a 50% reduction in relapses compared to placebo and a 70% reduction in brain scarring on MRIs. We don't have a cure yet, but we have gotten that much closer to getting good control of this disease. As for Stephen O'Malley, he has not had a single MS episode since going on the drug. Some of his vision has returned, and he's feeling optimistic about the future. You'd have to characterize it as a miracle. I feel healthier today than I felt seven years ago when I got diagnosed. Researchers hope BG12 will quickly gain FDA approval. For CBS This Morning, Dr. John LaPook, New York. This is such good news. I mean, there's not a, there's not a cure, but there is treatment. And, and I know I've done programs on this, and you're involved in Washington. Yeah, on multiple sclerosis. And uh, it's hard because there's not a cure for MS. People are working on it. But this drug yeah. clearly has and, had some great and, side And two effects. decades ago, there were no treatments. So beginning to make uh, giant inroads into understanding and treating disease. Very good news for people with MS.